uh, Peter saying it does need now a new strategy, fresh uh, blood pumped into it. Basically, what's your view on the stock moving forward when taking into consideration its major competitor and the entire retail uh, segment as, a, as an overview? I think what mine needs is a re rebounding consumer sentiment. It is still very difficult out there. If you have a look at the trading environment in the electrical di division, we know that uh, brands like Retrovision have gone into voluntary administration. We know that Dick Smith is rationalising its stores ahead of a sale by Woolies. Um, so there's a lot of excess inventory that's being tried, uh, sold off at very low margins or perhaps even at a loss and Myers competing against that. It's priority one program where it was aiming for 450,000 additional hours. Doesn't look like it's paying off. It does look like consumers still shying away from spending. So total sales down by 0.9%. That was slightly ahead of market expectations, as was like for like sales uh, of a drop of 2.1%. That was slightly ahead of expectations as well. But if we have a look at that profit downgrade, now predicting that profit will fall by up to 15% for the full year. That means in the second half, they do need to make a profit of more than $50 million. So we'll be watching for that. But altogether, a difficult retailing environment. I guess one of the positives that came out of this result, saying that their internet sales have increased increased by about 200%. So it does look like trying to deal with some of those structural changes that we are seeing with a lot of internet sales, with internet sales growing here in Australia. But all up, the retailing sector is still difficult, not only because of the structural challenges, but even more so because of the cyclical challenges where consumers aren't spending money. So really we want to see a rebound in consumer confidence before we get too positive on these retail stocks. Here locally but around the entire globe on tonight's EU summit. Uh, I think what uh, investors may have been hoping for yesterday is slightly different to what they are now expecting from uh, the summit today. There's three key things to look at from this EU summit uh, tonight and if we have a look at what the market wants some sort of clarity on, I guess number one would be the Grexit or Greece possibly exiting the Euro, how it would happen and the impacts it would have. Secondly, we'll be watching uh, how they deal with the Spanish uh, bank debt, hoping for some sort of bank guarantees, seeing that we are seeing a lot of depositors in Europe pulling their money out of not only the Greek banks but also the Spanish banks as well. And thirdly, a positive for the markets would be if we heard of Euro bonds. Euro bonds are very much in focus, they've been called stability funds or joint bonds as well and this is where uh, stronger nations in the eurozone act as guarantors uh, to debt and what essentially this does is raise the borrowing costs of some of the stronger economies while reducing the borrowing costs of some of those weaker peripheral countries so that's really what the market is hoping for the possibility of euro bonds of course that's highly dependent on Germany so any comments coming through from Germany will be watched very closely also there's been some ideas around a European redemption fund where our countries with debt to GDP ratios more than 60% would be able to access this fund while putting collateral of about 20% either in gold or foreign uh, currency reserves into the fund with some restrictions on spending and tax so that's a possible idea that's being floated as well but very important to see some sort of resolutions coming out of this EU summit I think there's a lot of skepticism in the market given that we've seen a number of these summits not really leading to too much at all and the market's really quite nervous about the Greece situation and the lead up to the election. Uh, how do you think think that that's going to play into what we see on the market? If it's positive, Ray, do you think we'll get any sentiment into equities? I think around the region what we're really going to be watching is that Bank of Japan meeting and that's given that we've seen ratings agency Fitch come out yesterday to downgrade the debt on Japan. So that's going to be watched very closely, especially any signs of more quantitative easing coming out of Japan. And of course the EU summit is going to be all important tonight. Really our market taking its cues off a possible Greek exit and that's really what drove the markets overnight. I mean the US market was looking um, good until the last hour of trade where we saw former Greek uh, Prime Minister. Papademos coming out to say that preparations are being considered for the exit of Greece uh, from the euro and that's really what uh, turned the markets. If we have a look at the performance of BHP in London versus the US this clearly shows um, th that this was the concern of the market. In London we saw a gain of 2.4 percent but then by the end of the US session the ADRs were actually down by 1.4 percent. So once again the market really being driven by those headlines coming out of Europe and that EU summit is going to be the all-important event for markets.